Hi guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So another um, small project shares for Scrap Diva Designs for the November release. I played with a couple more um, of the dies. Here's all of Erica's social information and her website. I will have the website linked and the dies linked and my discount code listed in the description so you can easily find these dies if you're interested in them. So let me show you, the first one I played with was, ooh, flipped out of my hand. It's called Baking Spirits Bright. <clears throat> and this is what the die looks like. So it's got a, a outside um, you know, base piece and then the word and they cut out separately. The whole word cuts out together, but um, the three words are separate. Okay, and then it comes with this cute little um, uh, rolling pin with a heart out of it. It's very cute. Okay, so I just made a couple. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, so I just kind of left them just kind of as is. I don't know if I'm just going to make them as an embellishment or add them to a project. I'm not really sure. Um, the paper collection I am using for these projects is called... I think it's called what's cooking yeah what's cooking what's cooking from uh simple stories so here's the letters i didn't put them up on foam or anything and they're just um you know one layer there the rolling pin i did put up on foam cute little cabochon some bows and little tiny flowers i made so they're both real similar this one i used one of the flowers on from this die set here which is called the fantasy flower I've used it now a couple times already but I love that pretty little flower it's very cute so I made those two and then I used um, the apron mini album and it has all the different parts you got you know your um, base layer um, you got a stitched layer you've got this more detailed layer with the um, um, you know with the apron it also comes with a smaller apron over here that you can use it comes with a rolling pin and then the square piece will cut out um, so you can make a shaker if you want to it cuts out the frame um, it has all the different layering pieces like for if you want to layer like the bodice type up here at the top um, there are like little um, uh, like little ruffle type things um, different sizes for both. There's a bunch of little um, bows that are layered, um, smaller and larger. Okay, so really fun set. Um, so let me show you. I did go ahead and make a mini album out of it. So again, this is the same collection I'm using as What's Cooking. I thought that would be appropriate. Just have it um, attached up here with um, a binder ring and then some trims up there. So here's my first little one. I'm just decorate it with some of the pieces from the collection and then like here's this piece right here is like a, a ruffle layer that I added on and there's one of the bows I just I put right there. Here's the rolling pin. Okay and then on the back um, I just use this for a place for, um, for photos. So I used some of the ephemera pieces from the collection. I figured that looked really cute. I just put a photo in there and then just added some stickers and popped some things up on foam. Okay, then this one, um, it doesn't have, so this one just has the base piece and then the more detailed piece. So it doesn't have like this piece right here on this green. I didn't put that one on here, um, but I did put the, the dress on and then I used the layering piece of this top bodice part to give it a different color more um, chipboard and ephemera pieces from the collection can, and I just uh, attached it over here so picture can slide up underneath there okay and then here's another one the back side of it some more stickers and brads um, rub-ons rub-ons are sure making a comeback I <laughs> years and years and years ago that was one of the one of the few things that we had for um, decorating Remember, use them all the time, then they kind of went out of style, and now they're they're making a comeback. So anyway, that's a rub-on from the collection. 
and um, these couple of um, little pieces from the collection that I just tucked down in here that I will add photos to. Just tucked them in there. So I used I used the, this decorative piece for the apron as you know like a little belly band type thing to hold these in place. So we got that. And then I cut out a tag from the collection. I love you to the fridge and back. <laughs> And then I just stapled, you can see them from the back side too, but that's okay. Um, I just stapled a couple more little squares on here for photos. Okay, here's my next layer. So this one, I have all three layers right here. That's all the three layers that um, come with the, with the set. Some more ephemera pieces. Here's a couple of the little uh, ruffle type things to layer on. I used two of them here. Put a little bow right there. And then again, the back side, another one of the ephemera pieces put there for a photo or I could journal some on it or something. And then some more stickers. Rosalind loves to bake with me and cook with me. So um, I have a few pictures of us, um, you know, her you know, like making cookies and different stuff. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, now here I just added this little, like a little tag thing. And this I use the, um, this the mitten from the um, oven mitt set so that goes real well with this too so I I use this is the smallest one and I use the one that has the, it has a ruffled edge there's one with the ruffled one without and then it has this it comes with this embossing plate right here can you see that embossed in design in there and then there's that fantasy flower again some little trim and then I just I double layered it so it would be sturdy and then um, I didn't glue the top and so I stuck down a couple of tickets from the collection and I just stapled them in there so they won't come out because I figured they'd fall out just you know flipping the tag and stuff. So there's that and then I added another tag right here from the collection and this one's just I just went ahead and mounted a little square right here for a photo. Okay and then the last page is this cute little apron here. So this one again has all three layers. I put a little um, you know, sentiment sticker there. Here's another piece of the ephemera I mounted up on foam. Cute little bows here on the sides that I added to the edge. You can um, put the apron on. So I did that. So I think it turned out really cute. Here's the back. <clears throat> Three layers again, and then a sticker, and then one of the cutout pieces I put here for the photo frame, and then one of the brads. So. Anyway, I think it turned out pretty cute, and this collection is so good for any of this baking kind of theme stuff. It's just really, really a cute um, um, collection um, for cooking, baking, um, yeah, just like get-togethers, um, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah, it's just, it's a really nice set, so I think it turned out really pretty. It has pinks and browns and yellows some a little bit darker green and it has like some you know, more lighter like aqua type colors some browns red and white polka dots so very cute i think it turned out really cute these i could have added in here if i would have um, made it like an embellishment um like um, book type thing instead but anyway i don't know what do you think love to hear from you guys love to have you guys stay stick around and um subscribe to my channel um, thank you so much for watching. Again, everything will be linked and listed below. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.